Hi everyone, my name is Florian and I'm part of a dev team at AWS and today I'm going to go through how to migrate an Amplify app to a CDK1. So first, let me give you a bit of context of the why of this subject. At the beginning of COVID situation, my team got a new project to build a video conference tool enabling presenters to stream local video efficiently, so not through the standard share screen with bad audio and be able to add quizzes and polls during the presentation. And the deadline was, as always, as soon as possible. So the first feature I got assigned to was this polling quiz capability that would need for sure authentication and authorization, as well as a push mechanism to push the question to attendees and spread response counts. So AppSync, the AWS GraphQL service, is a perfect fit for this uh, for this kind of use case thanks to its real-time capability through GraphQL subscriptions. And I also needed a database to store those data. And with this tight deadline, I decided to use Amplify to build this, since it's exactly the type of architecture it has been built for, and it simplified greatly the setup of all those resources. And while I was developing my part, my teammates started working on the video side using our standard development process, using CDK and our hardened construct and reusable CI CD1. Great, we were moving fast, but at some point I needed to migrate my Amplify app into my team CDK1. So before going into the, this migration story, let me just go through a quick reminder around the Amplify. So Amplify is composed of three main components, a framework providing a, providing a client-side library facilitating the interaction with AWS services, uh, such as API Gateway, Cognito, or AWS AppSync. It's providing as well a set of UI components to easily implement common front-end features, such as sign-in and sign-up pages, but it also comes with a command line capable of generating cloud formation templates, AppSync VTL, and GraphQL client code with simple commands. And last but not least, it's as well a managed service, providing a hosting solution for your front end artifacts, but as well an automatically configured CI CD pipeline and an admin UI enabling, enabling you to manage your data and backend categories. So, we're going to focus really quickly. We're going to focus here on this backend generation command line. When you run Amplify Add category, Auth here, the Amplify command line will generate the following structure. Under Amplify Backend, you will retrieve a folder for each category and a subfolder for each instance of it. And last but not least, in this subfolder, you will find two really important files the CloudFormation template generated by the command line and the parameters.json containing the CloudFormation stack parameters that are going to be passed to the template at the execution time of the stack. And when you run Amplify Push, this will generate a folder called AWS CloudFormation containing the root stack of your Amplify app. And especially this stack will reference all the nested stack I was presented be presenting before for each of your categories. So here we see that the category is Auth and the instance is CDK demo, blah, blah, blah. And it points to the template that I was mentioning before, but here uploaded to S3 by the Amplify push command. Seeing that, you might be thinking that you probably can use all those generated files directly in your CDK app to merge your Amplify app into a CDK one. And you're right. Thanks to a great construct called CloudFormation Include, you simply have to point to the template you want to include, and it ended up being a resource like any other in your CDK app. So let's see now how it would look like in our Amplify case. In your CDK app, you simply have to point to the root stack I was mentioning before, load the nested stack to make sure they get uploaded to the right S3 buckets and therefore and, and therefore retrievable by your root stack. And that's it. 
your CDK app is now spinning up Amplify Created Templates. To be honest, what I described is true for most categories that are only made of CloudFormation stacks, such as storage, auth, analytics, or others. But for some of them, like API or functions, they have external resources, such as resolver file for AppSync uh, resolvers, or your index handlers for your function, for your Lambda function, for instance. And in that case, it's a bit more complicated because they need to be uploaded first before instantiating the nested stack. I, will, I, I won't go into the details of the implementation here for those migration due to lack of time, but basically the idea is to leverage a 3 deployment construct to upload those external resources into the right folder. As you can see here, where I upload the API resolver to the right F3 buckets expected by the Amplify Cloud formation. So don't worry, all this code is on my GitHub that I'll share at the end of the presentation and you will be able to uh, get the full view of uh, what is done here. But basically here, the idea is really to leverage this uh, F3 deployment construct to mimic what Amplify Push is capable of. So, now that we might we migrated our Amplify app into CDK, I would like to highlight the fact that the CFN include construct exposes an API enabling you to easily access any output of the included stack. So you can easily link your Amplify generated templates with your CDK one. So for instance, you see here that the auth template as a specific output called identity pool ID, and you probably will need that into other resources into your CDK app. And so that's how you can easily access it using the get output function and the value attributes. So what's next? Now you can extend your Amplify app with CDK. So you can potentially, I don't know, add custom hosting with CloudFront and Lambda at Age that is currently not supported with Amplify, or add CI CD with CDK pipelines if you're doing trunk based deplo deployment, uh, development, and uh, multi account deployment. And if you're looking for working example of everything I presented today or and more, do not hesitate to go to my GitHub that is showing here, so FLOCHAZ, and you will find this Amplify to CDK, CDK Day 2021 example that shows exactly all what I showed today. To conclude, I'd like to summarize and list the tips to be able to reuse your Amplify generated code into your CDK app. So first of all, leverage CloudFormation include construct to include your generated template. If you're not using complex categories, you can go straight to the generated root stack. Else, use the categories nested stack and leverage AWS S3 deployments to upload the specific resources of your categories, such as resolvers or handlers for functions. And something I didn't mention, to make sure that all Amplify generated CloudFormation templates work in CDK out of the box, you will have to set the stack name attributes when creating your CDK app stack with the following pattern. Each of these variables needs to be lowercase and without a dash because what's happening is some of the Amplify generated CloudFormation templates will use the FN select uh, IntriSync function to split these um, elements and uh, find some of those variables. And one last tips, you might have realized that some Amplify categories are sometimes generating YAML templates instead of JSON one. And uh, for some reason, CDK Cloud Formation Construct don't support YAML as well as JSON. So feel free to flip them to JSON with CFN flip to solve those of those parsing issues. Oh yeah, and last but not least, you can reuse those techniques with any CloudFormation-based solutions, such as AWS Quick Start, AWS Solutions, or any other code you find on GitHub based on CloudFormation. So you can leverage them all. And that's it for me today. Thank you very much for listening. And uh, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me either on Twitter, on GitHub, or directly on our cdk.dev Slack channel. Have a good day.